Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Space Exploration. Yes, I'm back in my back in space on my space base, and I've got some stuff to do and some stuff stuff that stuff that I've managed to do so um, since the last episode. So as you probably hopefully remember, we had all of this sort of string of stuff up here, but mostly from about about here onwards, we've got we're uh, making all of the things for the um, for the astronomic science packs. So we've got all the um, the, sh the plates being made here, we've got telescopes exposing them, turning them into memory, uh, getting the data off onto memory cards here, making another type of memory card here, and then passing them through these computers to turn into the um, science catalogues, into the science cylinders that I forget the name of, um, and significant data, and then the the, the, um, the actual science packs here. And we've made quite a lot of them. As you can see, there's lo quite a big backlog running along this belt here, so we've got lots of them in, in, in stock. So the next thing I decided I wanted to do was to start work on the energy science packs, and those have a because um, they're they're relatively straightforward. They're, there's a few funny things in them, but they're not they're not too bad. So I've, what I've done here is I've sort of mirrored it in the op on the opposite side. So here we've got the computers that are making the um, the catalogues, and then we're here we've got the machines that are making the actual science packs themselves. Uh, sorry, the the data for the science packs themselves. So we've got I can't remember the names of any of these. Let's go. Let's go check in here. So. Yeah, first, it, and, and the other thing was each of these required a new machine to be made, pretty much. So there was a little bit of um, stuff to do there. But other than that, it wasn't too difficult. So we've got the, um, which one's this? This is the polarization data, which you get by feeding in mirrors and, um, and memory cards. And it does, presumably, I don't know, it shines light on it in funny ways or something like that. And that and spits out these memory cards with the, uh, with the data conducted with the uh, polarization data on. The nuclear data, which uh, radiation data, is, is fairly straightforward. You feed in uranium-235, and then it gets information from there, spits out the cards. Uh, we haven't made any of these yet because I haven't got any uranium. Then over here, we've got the conductivity data and the electromagnetic field data. Again, we're here, we're feeding, for conductivity data, we're feeding in um, various types, of, some fairly simple things, green circuits, um, copper and holmium, and, get, and, and the data cards, of course. And what I, the way I've, the way I'm setting this up over here is that I'm, they go both, both can output onto this belt, and then we'll wind that through here and up this way, and then feed it onto this one. So all four of the um, the data types will be fed in here. I run into a little bit of a problem though. As you can see, none of these are actually working, and there's all these gaps in the. Oh, what's getting blown up? Hmm, interesting. Um, there's all these gaps in the belts, and that's because I ran out of belts. Which, so I thought, okay, I'm going to have to go and get some more. Bring it. Bring some more up from Norvis. And there are a few, couple of other things I needed as well. So if we have a look at um, down here, where is it? Yes, this machine here, I've turned this into, let's switch over to this mode so I can actually poke at things properly. This machine down here, I've got it feeding in all, basically all of the different possible inputs that, that it could need. And then here it's feeding all of the different machines out into this one. At the moment, we're trying to make um, the particle accelerators that you need in order to make the, um, the fuzzy clouds of stuff that go into the one of the data data packs but those need laser turrets and I didn't bring any of those up with me because I hadn't actually looked at the recipes required for the different uh, for the different machines so um, yeah oops so I've, I've had a bit of a think um, but, uh, but before I mention that over here I adapted that machine so it was able to make the laser facilities that I need here the radiation facilities and the electromagnetics facilities I just ran out for the um, whatever it's trying to make at the moment the particle accelerators so it, this this machine is actually being quite useful. I'm just going to just have to switch mode on whatever it does whenever I need some new machines. But because I don't need enormous number of those and I don't need a steady supply of them like you do with other science pack related stuff, using the one machine for all of that is, is fine. It works works quite nicely. So what I've done, I came down here. I thought, you know, let's um, let's tweak the way I'm doing the rocket. So uh, at the moment, as as you probably remember, I've got these machine these uh, combinators here that have got the massive negative numbers of the various things I want bringing up so I've, I've boosted a few of them like um, the belts I've, I've taken to minus 4,000 instead of minus 1,000 because I can't because I ran out of them the science packs again I've run out of which one's this this should be blue I have ran out of those for some reason so I've boosted the number of science packs to minus 10,000 for each of those so we should get a lot more of those in the rocket and they should all get brought up I've also added in um, laser turrets and this would, wouldn't have worked previously because I didn't have a belt bringing those into the rocket but what I've done if I look at Norvis now is I've added in this requester chest here and this can request absolutely anything that's on the logistics network because it's a requester chest 
So I've hooked up the standard red wires that are coming from the receiver, machine, receiver maduberry here up to this um, combinator. And that's multiplying everything by minus one and then feeding it back out again. And that means we're getting, which one's it? It's hooked up to this one. So we're getting massive negative numbers for all of the things we've got decent numbers of. Um, and then positive numbers of the things we haven't got enough of. And that means this logistics chest here is getting those, the ones where we don't have enough of them in space, it's getting those in as positive numbers. Now most of these are showing up in red, in fact all of these are now showing up in red because there aren't any of those on the um, on the logistics networks. So they're not they're not going to get fed through into the into the rocket. But things that little things like the laser turrets I requested will get brought over here by the um, by the logistics network by the bots, and then we can feed them in here. And so you'll see down here we've got we've got well I asked for 50, we've got 54 because it's there's there's a little little tolerances in there. So so you get slightly different numbers of these things. And so the rocket is now getting filled up with all of the basic stuff I need. We've got a lot more of these science packs coming in here, as you can see. And then the little things like the turrets. And we've got a little bit of coal and ice has been provided here. And those are probably ones that I've just thrown out onto the logistics network because I, I had them in my inventory and I wanted to get rid of them. So that it's also a way of pulling some of that stuff out of the um, out of logistics storage if I, if I need it. However, I've run into a bit of a problem. Well, one of the problems is that Apparently we're not making science all that quickly. The uh, the purple and the the yellow don't seem to be coming up here at the at quite the rate I would ideally like. Um, so that's causing a bit of bit of a problem here. But I don't currently for the for the science I'm doing at the moment. This one no no I take it back it does need purple and yellow. Okay so we do need those to be fed up there. And this takes five thousand of everything and that's ridiculous. I don't know why I even started doing this one. It's just swallowed up all of my science packs. Um, but I wanted the, the extra mining productivity so I can get a bit more ore out of each of my mining patches. So I thought it was probably worth having, but yeah, I'm starting to wonder. Unfortunately, if I stop it, I don't get all of those science packs back. They just, they just, it stays at 38% done. So there's not a lot I can do about that. But in, anyway, moving on, I have a more serious problem. So you remember I mentioned that I ran out of um, space belts as well. Well, there aren't any of them coming around here either, and. Uh, there's a few hundred in here, but not very many. So that's that's a problem. And I trace this one back all the way along here, going, why 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 are there no space belts? Why are there no space belts? What's going on? Got up to here. There's no small electric motors being fed in. Okay. So there's no small electric motors on here. Why is that? I'm sure I was making those. I was making those. There's no gears. There's no gears anywhere around here. There's no room for gears. There weren't any gears here at all. It turns out <laughs> the recipe for the um, very I updated the mods and the recipes for the um, for the motors have been changed around a bit. So you no longer these things no longer take in one of these motors. They take in the subcomponents of these motors instead. So instead of taking in, I don't remember exactly what it was before. It was probably one of these and well, looking at the looking at the things around here, it was probably iron, copper wire, and an and a and a motor. Now it's copper wire, iron. And an iron gear wheel and, and a lot of copper cable by the looks of it as well. No, six, that's not so bad. Um, so this step in the middle here is causing problems. Now, this is a this is a problem um, for this, obviously, as you can see. Uh, it's a relatively easily sort, sorted one, though. I can use the um, I can get the bots to do that. If I remove all of those and then replace them with let's see, a red inserter there and a red inserter there. And I can get rid of that one as well. Now this is a it's, just, it's, it's a little bit of a botch way of fixing it, but I don't really care. But what this means is this insert, this red inserter will then drop them on the floor here, and then these two red inserters will pick them up off the floor and put them into these two, into these two assembly machines. So that has basically solved the problem here. The prop, the other pro part of the problem though, is that there are quite a lot of places where I'm using these various different motors. So I kind of need to go all the way along my bus looking for absolutely anywhere that's using the small electric motors and ideally doing a fix, maybe doing a fix like this, ideally I'd go in there and sort it out properly. Now what I probably should have done, and I've thought this a couple of times in the last 160 hours or whatever I've been playing for, is that I should have put the I should have put these motors on the bus the the little the, what are now called single cylinder motors I think um, yeah these ones, sing, single cylinder engines and small electric motors they probably should have been on the bus because you get through quite a lot of them 
But now this is kind of working. Why are you not doing passing the things over? Oh, this needs iron plates as well. Goodness sake. Um, I could put that there and there and then put one of these in here. That will do that. That will fix that one as well. <sighs> Stupid, damn recipe changes. <laughs> uh, okay, so that will probably fix those two up. But then, if I look along the bus... Where's my bus? Here's my bus. If I look along here, there's a motor in there. Is that is that still correct? That's a motor in an iron place. That's that's probably still correct. Cogger. Yeah, so that one's alright. It, it does seem to only be the electric motors, like like this one, that are going to be a problem. Uh, now, this is even more of a problem here. Oh, I'm not going to be able to solve this one easily, or in quite the same way. Because here, we've got the single cylinder motors being put onto this belt, and then we've got the electric motors here going... Oh, I don't have any cogs. So, I can't just get rid of this because then we wouldn't have any, um, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have the electric motors, sorry, we wouldn't have these motors on here because this would stop making them. Now, are these actually required? So, this does, this takes electric motors and burn, 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 burn. Yes, so they are still required, but only by this. So, I could, I could put them up, I could put the machines for making those up here, but I have a, I have a cunning plan. So, if I, if I get rid of this, no, if I, if I cut that and put it there instead, one square further out, I'm going to need to replace... I need to put one of them in there and get rid of that. Now what this is good... And then I can put in... So that goes to there and there. So here we'll have the same thing passing the cogs up along here. I won't need that inserter anymore. So the cogs will land here in the middle, and then this one will grab them from the middle and put them into this machine. And up the, and then this inserter will still be able to grab from here, yes, and put them onto there. And this long inserter will still grab iron and put it into here. So I think that should fix that. Then we've got probably the same issue here. Yeah, we've got exactly the same problem here. Actually, no, no we haven't. I didn't need to do that, because cogs are on here as well. I could have passed the cogs straight into this machine. Oh, well, I've done that one. But for here, we'll do that and pass the cogs straight into this machine. Here, we don't have any electric motors. Here, we don't have any electric motors. Or here. Here, we do. But we're not using the single cylinder motors for anything apart from, apart from making those. So this one, I can dismantle that and put in the red inserters, as I did before. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, is that, yes, that is correct. This one... Oh, goodness sake. Um, what are we even using them for? We are, so we're using electric motors here. We're using single cylinder motors there. So we do need, the, we do need both, and we need the single cylinders there as well. This is kind of cramped. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to this. I think, uh, but this is going to, this is possibly the reason why we don't seem to have very much science being made, because the green science, green science has stopped being made because it's got the motor problem. I may well just have to come back down to Norvis and do this by hand, because doing it all by bots is, is, it's nice that you can, but oh, it's fiddly. So how much more is it? Yeah, there's another one there, and we're not passing cogs along here. But we're not actually using the motors anywhere else, so I could, that that again I can rip out. I can just rip out that motor machine. It's one there. Oh, but again we're making cogs, so this one this one is easy. I can do that, and that'll start working again. We're making them here, not passing along cogs. We are. Oh, this is where I'm making. Um, yeah, make, making inserters up here. So again, so again that's going to be the same sort of problem. I'm not going to make you sit and watch through it all, um, because that's going to be extremely boring and frustrating. So I'm just going to grumble about it and, and let you know that that's what I'm doing. So the moral of the story here is don't upgrade your mods in the middle of a game, because the recipes will probably change. <laughs> and to be fair, I mean, the, the mod, the SpaceX, Space Exploration mod is still 
early access early access alpha i don't know it, it's a, it's a it's a relatively small number it's a, it's a it's a sub version number so yeah that's sort of understandable now the question here is do i launch my rocket from here do i do i launch the rocket because it's um basically ready uh even though it's only half full or do i just wait a bit for the science to come in even though it's not going to have as many of these as i need or actually those are going to be okay because i've fixed that up here so as you can see the belts start to flow again so it's just at this point it's just a matter of time for enough of those to come through um and yeah i was that that was successful this, this has worked so that's good to know um and this seems to be working the other the um inserters are just grabbing from the other inserter so that's that's, that's all gone well um i might just in the, sort of to see if i can just fiddle around with all of that from space and just see if i can get it to work can i add another thing in here no, no i can't that's all just set automatically so what i'm going to do also is set on here i'm going to say i also want to have one rocket pod doobery thing if i can find them yeah one of these space capsules um minus one and that will mean if i look back on norvis now They've got the minus one of those in here, which you can't see because it's gone off the bottom of the screen. So we've got the plus one of them in here. And here it comes over by bot, and it's immediately put in here. And the rockets. And that's finished building the rocket. I'm going to zoom out a bit because that's noisy. There we go, that's a bit better. It's... Oh, on the downside, it's bringing over another one. So that's just going to get sent up into space. That uh, is a shame. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. But, yeah. Oh, well. I mean... I've got a silly number of these now because I've stuffed up there, <laughs> basically. Um, I just need to start remembering to unload, take them back down and unload them across. And I'll just end up with a silly number of them. And in fact, I've already got a silly number, an even sillier number of them. But that rocket is now ready to be launched. Um, I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to wait for that to fill up a bit more with the uh, with the with the belts mostly. Um, and while I'm up and so up here, I can now start thinking about. I guess is there any more thought to be done on this? Not really. I can't do very much more on this until I until I get the um, until I get the what do call it? Um, laser turrets up and can build the particle accelerator. However, the other thing I was going to do, and I sort of skipped over this earlier, the astute among you will have noticed that after the uh, making the catalogs here, I then need to turn them into insights and then into significant data and then into into research packs. And there's not there isn't room for me to do that here. Is that because I've been dumb and and um, and just got it wrong? No, for once, I've actually this is actually deliberate. <laughs> what I'm planning to do here is have another spur of this whole um, space station going off upwards here. So I'm going to I'm going to just remove this these basically these machines uh, these five these computers these computers and this manufacturing, and I'm going to work go up here this way a little bit. Uh, th through the, from the gap and then I'm going to have a series of belts coming up here that will carry the um, energy catalog sorry, no the astronomic catalogs and the energy catalogs and then a load of computers probably up about here because I don't think I'm going to need to expand much further than this or maybe on the other side I don't know um, that will then convert those into into the cylinders the insights and then we're going to mix those together and use the more efficient recipe to make the significant data. So instead of using instead of using this recipe, which takes the 36 of them in and produces four, and also this recipe, which takes 36 in and produces four, I'm going to start using this one, which takes in 18 of each, which is 36, but produces six. So we're going to be a bit more efficient with this. We're going to produce 50% more significant data per input. And then hopefully in the future, I'll get on to using. I'll maybe do the the um, the biological one was the next one I was thinking of doing. I think so. I'll start using this recipe where you feed in 36 of a mix of all th of, all, of these three, and that produces eight. So you produce you now you now twice as efficient as when you're only using a single one. So this is going to save me quite a lot of all of the input stuff, and and hopefully allow me to produce a lot more of the science. And then I'll still need to have. Um, machines, separate machines making the, the science packs and the energy science packs, but those can be up here as well and they'll, they'll, they'll work separately off, off the supply of significant data that's going to come from both inputs, but then producing whichever science I, I need at the top. And then I can feed that down a belt and 
probably this, potentially this belt, except maybe not this belt because this belt merges into this belt down here. So maybe I'll, maybe there'll be another one for the energy science and then we can put the biological science on there as well. However, that's going to require a lot of belts. It's also going to require a lot of the um, space station scaffolding um, to build out a sort of a big protrusion up this way. I mean, I've already sort of started. No, I can't use this one because that's, that's it's going to have to come up from about here. Um, so we're going to need a big thing growing up this way the, and then branching everything off it. So that's my, those are my next two plans, three plans. First one is get everything, get the, um, get the motor sorted out so that my science and my everything else starts flowing properly again. Then I'll, I'll get those laser turrets up there so I can finish off this and get my energy science flowing. Oh, and I need a lot of belts as well so I can finish off all of these. The, um, and I need to get the Holmium processing going on over here. But that's that's pretty straightforward. That, that's going to be the easy part, I think. I hope. I need to get Uranium up here as well. That means another um, turret down on... Uh, delivery cannon on um, on Norvis, which I can't do from up here because it's outside the uh, Roboport range. Um, and then I can sort out science and things. Yeah, so there's, there's quite a lot to do. But I think it's all... I feel like it's all reasonably in hand. I have a cunning plan. I just need to actually implement it. So, thank you for watching. We'll uh, see how that goes in the next episode. Um, we'll see, yeah. And, oh, and I need some more power as well, because I keep finding that everything I'm doing up here is now... Well, actually, production's okay, but when, when everything kicks in and everything actually starts running properly, then I don't have anything like enough power, so I need to um, I need to put in some more solar. But that's, that's fairly easy. That's just copy-paste all of this. So I'll take that and go. Please, sir, can I have some more? Let's put in one of these in the right place as well. The right place is way up here. Let's not do that. Can I fit that in? I can fit that in. There we go. So that'll all get built up, assuming I've got enough solar panels up here. And I think I have, because I think I'm making them up here now. Yes, here we go. I'm making them from here. So the question, the big question is, do I have enough um, pylons, I guess? Anyway, it's got to the... Oh, there's some in there as well. It's got to the point where I'm starting to ramble, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time when hopefully there'll be some more science available. <laughs> I'll see you then. Thank you.